our relatives visiting two foreign nationals suspected to have contracted coronavirus have been denied access unless they wear nose and facial masks to the emergency ward of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital in Accra. Test results of on the two are yet to be released. My colleague uh, Grace Hamwasare is joining us live uh, from Kolibu with updates. Indicate that two patients or two nationals, an Argentinian and a Chinese, are being kept or are being quarantined for a suspected case of their coronavirus. People we have spoken with tell us they were brought in last night around 5 p.m or the new development to this case people now the other bit to this story is that relatives who have their patient here at the accident and imaging center are not being granted access to enter and go and see them and so you, we, we, we see a lot of them stranded or standing here in front of the imaging center and are not allowed access into it we spoke with a few of them who told us that yesterday when they came here earlier before 5 p.m they were granted access and free entry into the center Center. But this morning, since they came here, they have been denied access unless you have a nose mask or you have um, a facial mask or a nose mask to protect you or you have it on before you can enter. And so those of them who do not have it have been denied access. They have not been able to see the patient, their patient on admission. They have not been able to give them whatever they brought from the house to give to them. And so that is also the other update um, to this story. When we're able to hear from the Director General of the Ghana Health Service will bring you that, that update and hear what they have to say about this suspected case of corona outbreak or coronavirus here at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Grace Hamwa Asari, Kolebu Teaching Hospital Emergency and Accident Centre, Kolebu, Accra. Let's quickly get onto the telephone lines and speak with uh, Dr. Kofi Boni, who is a senior research fellow and the uh, team lead uh, for uh, the testing. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, we're grateful that you could join us. Uh, quickly, can you confirm to us, indeed, uh, that the outcome of those tests suspected to be coronavirus came out negative? Yes, it was negative. Uh, so, just finished about uh, an hour ago, and uh, it came up to be negative. Mm. I, I know that uh, scientifically, when you say it comes out negative, uh, have you conducted all the confirmatory tests in order to reaffirm that this negative is indeed so? Yes, yeah, so we have, uh, we have different assays for testing and confirming mm. uh, the testing. So there's no don't do only one. So mm. the first one that we do in times of crisis situation like this is the the most sensitive one. So if you do the most sensitive one, and it, it comes up negative. Mm. Yes, because they need the results urgently. You can right. go ahead to announce the results whilst you do the other. Uh, you don't say less sensitive, but they are complementary right. testing just to, to more or less support mm. and validate what you have done it. Right, so, so can you, uh, for the sake of understanding, walk us through the processes that will uh, usually uh, lead to such conclusions from the very moment the test samples are taken? Yeah, so usually uh, because this is a respiratory uh, infection, we expect to have a swab uh, from the, the nostril or the, down your throat. They will take a swab, uh, they usually take it from the patient that is being suspected of having that respiratory condition. Uh, they keep it in a transport medium. You take the soap, put it in the transport, then you bring it to the lab. So the lab will set up a molecular testing as so we put up the, uh, the virus that we are suspecting. In this case, we are suspecting a coronavirus. So we have targeted what we call targeted famous for that particular coronavirus. This is a new coronavirus 2019. Mm. So we target that and we look for it using a machine. We, we call it a procedure as well as polymerase chain reacting. There's a machine for that. So we do the preparation, a cocktail of buffets to prepare it. Then we put the sample in it, then mm. put it in a machine. So the machine is supposed to come up to tell us that what we are looking for is in there or is not. So it will indicate the screen if it is positive. 
but we are doing this with controls. In other words, we have a positive control, which is supposed to show up clearly. Then a negative control is also supposed to show us as positive. So when these two show up, the positive shows up as positive, the negative shows us negative, and the sample, if it's positive, to go with a positive control, if it is negative, not right. with a negative control, then we can say that yes, uh, we have a negative case, positive case, depending right. on what comes now. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, but uh, quick, quickly, uh, so now that uh, the sample, for example, was uh, brought from the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, which I reckon may have been at the request of that hospital, how do you communicate the negative results uh, to them? And how long will it take for them to uh, bring down, step down the uh, precautionary measures of quarantine, for example, that were put in place earlier uh, to safeguard everybody from catching any infections? So there, there is a channel of communication. I mean, it will be to our director, uh, to uh, it, uh, I think the director of public health, uh, he the information and he will pass it up to uh, the facility, this case, called So the, 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 the lay down channel of communication, that, 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 I think that might have been done already. Mm, right. So, so is there the, the remote likelihood that, uh, for example, this tested, those who tested negative uh, have been so because there's a likelihood that they, although they are exposed, they didn't test uh, positive? Uh, well, we, we can't confirm they were exposed because if you look at the history, they said they've been, uh, one of them has been to China before and that is in the recent past. I don't know how. Long. And uh, in fact, if you look at the clinic, that it, Examine them clinically, they don't they actually don't meet the case definition. Mm. Now, I mean, if you are expecting a respiratory infection, it has thought through the temperature should be above 38 degrees and all that. All those things were not there. But because of the epidemiological link, it has been there before. That is why they took the sample for us to rule out uh, oh, the fact coronavirus. That mm. Mm. Yeah, but so if you, if you look at the patient, I mean, from what they brought, clinical information doesn't really meet the case definition that. Mm. But for purposes of the fact that he has been there, he has been to China some time past. That is why we have to do it, right. just to rule out the coronavirus. Right. So, uh, yes, we cannot talk about exposure. Even if he has been there, whether he was exposed or not, we, we cannot. We cannot right. Right. Doc, thanks very much. Uh, but yeah, earlier when we... To correct yeah. one thing, I, I'm not the team lead. I'm part of the team that... That's, that's, uh, right, uh, that's fine. Thanks very much for the clarification. But earlier when we spoke to uh, a doctor, a medical officer at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, he did raise concerns that the symptoms that the uh, particular suspect was exhibiting may have been symptoms of uh, meningitis, stiff neck, headache, and all of that. Is that the likelihood that after running this test to confirm or rule out uh, coronavirus, you could be also uh, running a test to confirm whether this uh, uh, suspect was uh, was exhibiting signs of meningitis? Yes, yeah, so if, if, the, if the request form that they brought for the sample to be tested, if they have cremated meningitis, it will be done. And mm. uh, say, I am in the virology department, so right. I'm on virus related. So right. just right. one if this bacteria meningitis, it has to go to the bacteriology department for them to right so Doc, we're grateful for your time. Yeah, okay, thank you. Doc, grateful for your time. Thank you very much. Dr. Kofi Boni is part of the team which ran a test on two suspected cases of uh, coronavirus, and the outcome is negative. So breaking news is that uh, some of you who have been panicking, uh, like myself, obviously, uh, may have to just uh, heave a sigh of relief because the test results came out negative.